Jeremy is stuck on a different type of apparatus, huh? Let's see, a little Today, we did have to drain the rear differential oil again because we're installing new axles or something. How does it stay open? Why would that be leaking already? We didn't put the gasket on correctly. Yeah, we're gonna do one. Starting to tighten. Tighten this. I think Alex tightened this. Barely. Okay, well, there's a little ratchet, but yeah, it's not tight. Smaller ratchet. Oh, wait, they loose it now? Yeah, that's wasted grease. Oh, he's only this tire flat. Today, we hope to put new disc brakes on the rear of the El Camino. And also over here, we also have new tires and wheels. Which look nice. Better than these ones. Oh, it's flat. Yeah. I need a box for these Alice because we're going to sell these. Okay. Loosen the cup, loosen the cup. I can take them all off. NASCAR pit. I don't care anything, Alex. Here we have our uh, jack that can go on our stand. It's going to lift up onto the frame of the car. It's off. Well, yeah. I, I, I unlocked this. I'm sorry. So we're going to replace these disc brakes and stuff. <laughs> All right there. The axle from inside. I'm not sure about these other red rags. Take the golf cart. Go. It's got a battery. All right, that's oh. a disc brake. Drum. Drum. This one had a washer. Yeah, I did. It's a nut. So now it is off. All right. Ah, uh, these two screws are stuck right there. We're gonna try and push them out. 
Oh, there you go. There they are. Now, why won't it come off? That's a good rusty one. See that? There you go. There you go. You take this out here, do more junk. Nice to have a good, bright place for your job, huh? Okay, oh, disgusting. All right, now that we got the old uh, drum brakes off, now we're gonna install the new disc brakes. This is a caliper right here. Hi. I'm surprised they don't have new bearings. All the new parts. Yeah. All right, we got the axles back in, and we're putting the differential back together. Right here. They smoke it, bud. <laughs> They smoke it. Oh, they smoke it? Oh. Typically. You Actually, I think in the caliper mounting bracket. Go ahead, give me a push. There you go. Okay, good. You guys can tighten them up. I'll oh, take a break. No. A sports car. So it was a, what, what was it? What year? It's a 39 coupe. 40, 40 cool. Oh, 40 cool. Right here we have the disc that we're gonna mount up. So, the caliper right here basically goes like this around it and like grabs it to keep, stop the wheel. Pretty much, it's a brake. So that's how that works. It's nice and clean right now. Alright guys, so the bolt that this set came with right here is actually too long that when it went through it would hit this metal part right here and not be all the way uh, tightened. You have to go to the store and buy a shorter bolt right here. So that's what we're putting in right now. If you can see that. Uh, this, uh, the, these bolted all up. We're so it's not the good. The caliper on. And Mr. Joel is putting the caliper on now, or fitting it. So. That's what clamps down on the disc brake. We forgot to put the rotor on. Wow. <laughs> so, so, this, so now we put it no, on. You don't even saw all the time. It was the now. beer. It was the beer. Yeah, yeah. He, he was, was drinking a little bit. I was drinking a little bit. Yeah, that's true. He had to deal with, he had to deal with Grant all day today. Says he's helping, but he's not. As you can see it's a little finicky. It's got a spring in it. Side. You can see we got these on which hold the caliper to the caliper mount right here. The screws right here. And now we're trying to fit the brake pads in there. Instructions over again. Nope. Now we're trying to fit the uh, brake pads in here, which Kind of hard because it goes in between the calipers and the date brick and the disc brake. So Mr. Joel is having a hard time fitting it in there.
Oh, there we got it. Top's in. The top is in. Woohoo, we're halfway there. Actually, more like a quarter of the way there. Because <laughs> we have the other side. Oh, we yeah, have yeah. not done yet. As you can see, over here, uh, we have yet to put anything on this side. And also, we have to uh, put in more oil in the rear differential because we had to take that out. Even though we did it last time, as you guys saw. Alright guys, so Mr. Joel is going to finish up on that side with the brake caliper. And me and Alex are going to get started on this side. And what and about me? I'm actually going to time lapse it on this camera. So, uh, here we go. Alright guys, Mr. Joel got the caliper Don't on. Don't be doing that. He also just hit his head. <laughs> I want to be in the video. Okay, and then we have the tire right here. I'm going to put a jack in there. But uh, it might be a little too big. The tire got too big. I can help push up. They should fit on there. I fit them. You get this wide body. Alright, we got the tire. Oh. Uh, we got to fit. because I think we lifted it up a little bit. So now we're uh, gonna fit it. Looks real nice. Okay. New wheel. Pattern. Hi guys, it's me from uh, the hood seat. Hurry! Hey, where's this killer? Oh, got it. Good. Wait, no, it got, came out. Alright, guys, we have a slight problem. So, the tires here. We have this lug nut. Where'd it go? Right here. There's these lug nuts right here. And they go in these tires like that. Except, there's a problem. Hold on, let me get this out. There's a problem. Uh, this lug nut. So you can spin onto a stud right here, but with the tire, the studs are too short. So, seems as though we're gonna have to take out, take off all this stuff right here, and get new longer studs. Which, where'd the other side go? So over here on the vise, I already took it out of the other side. It's right here. We're gonna have to pound in new longer studs. That way the wheels, the new wheels Mr. Joel got, uh, can fit. They match the same brand. Oh, not tight. Oh, there it goes. We need to go to the store and get 10 of these longer. That's what I can do right now. The face of defeat. Yes. Uh, unfortunately, guys, that's it for today. As you can see we need to get uh, longer studs. We need to get longer studs for our axles. That way, the new wheels that Mr. Joel got can fit on there. So next time we have to take this all apart. Right now we gotta go. We gotta pack up now, so. That's that. What is up guys? It's been like three days and we finally got the parts that we need. We got longer studs. That way the wheels, the new wheels, uh, will be able to fit onto the uh, axles. Right now, Mr. Joel is dismantling the brake caliper, and uh, that way we can get the axle out, and then mount uh, the new studs, which are half an inch longer than the ones that are in it right now, which means that these wheels will be able to be fit. Take this out, the axle out now. 
We have the studs pounded out of both axles. We're gonna install these longer ones. And as you can see, compared to the old one, it's a lot longer. I think Jeremy's got to press. So pounding the uh, studs did not work, so we're going to have to press them with this press machine. Really have his mount to the, the table. I got something like this too. That pulls. No, but it's really mounted to the table. Oh, well, I haven't gotten around yet. I'm sorry, I got my headphones on. No, I haven't gotten around yet. You in a meeting too? Alright guys, we just watched a YouTube video <coughs> on how to replace the studs. Apparently you need this tool. It has like a bearing on the back. And you place it on the axle like this a stud going through it. Let me show you. Like that. The stud going through it. And then you take a lug nut right here and you twist it on with an impact wrench. And it should pull the stud through. So that's how we're going to do it. Alright, now you can see that the stud is pretty much all the way in. It's all the way in now, so it should not be coming out. We didn't even oil it. Now we're gonna finish up all uh, the rest of ten the rest nine of them. This axle is almost done. This is the fifth uh stud going on. Now you see, they're all on now. Flush to the thing or whatever. Since we have the axles out um, right now, we're gonna... Pack the bearings, finish packing the bearings. Yeah, with grease. And I'll spin it a few times. High temperature grease, fellas, on TV. That's it. We're gonna to the other side too. Now we have <coughs> reinstalled the axles, so now we can put the uh, brake caliper on and stuff. So we got the brake caliper on on this side, and now we're just working on the other side. And once that's done, then we'll put on the rear tires, and then we're gonna have to wheel this off. That way we can. Uh, do the front end parts. Alright guys, we got both uh, brake discs and uh, calipers on both sides. So now we just have to refill the differential with the differential oil, which starts by putting the gasket and the differential pumpkin on and then filling it up with grease. And the grease fills up the entire space right here and into the axles. All right, guys. And RT, since RTV high temperature silicon gasket, when we took off the differential pumpkin, uh, we noticed that uh, stop. We noticed that some of the grease was uh, leaking out. So we're gonna put this uh, silicon 
RTV. Stuff oh, it's on it. R RTV. <laughs> RTV on. High temperature. <clears throat> so it can uh, not leak. No. All right, guys. Now that we have, now that we have longer studs, uh, lug nuts will now fit on on the wheel. Now we have all, I mean, both wheels in the back installed. So I think we're going to do the differential grease next. I bolted this on already. And right here, you can see there's a hole. Uh, this right here was in it. And you take it out. That way you can fill it up with grease. Fill up the inside with grease. So you have to squeeze the grease in from the bottle through a tube into there. All right, guys, that's it for today. We got the rear tires mounted and the uh, diff filled with oil and uh we got the new brakes on it looks sick compared to the old ones nice and shiny this is a brake line right here we're gonna do that in some later video and that's it for today guys i'll see you next time